So I'll show you how to create an MCP server using OpenAPI tools. So let's create an MCP server for Docker engine so that uh, we'll, we'll try to interact with our Docker using Cloud Desktop itself. Let's go to the do Docker official documentation. You'll see there is there, there is Docker engine API and you, you can see there is a uh, API documentation for that. And you can just click on here and then download the YAML file. So this, this actually has the whole documentation, Swagger documentation for all the APIs that are uh, there for Docker. Now you can go to our website, openapitools.com and then sign in using Google. Once you are done signing in, you can create a new project over here. Let's say Docker MCP. This is an MCP server to communicate with Docker using Cloud Desktop. So you can see uh, the server URL for Docker local is 2375. And you can check that over here. You can go to your Docker desktop and then you can expose your uh, Docker daemon on TCP 2375. Now you can click on uploading that YAML file which we have just downloaded and you can click on create project once you are done creating the project you can see all the APIs which are there have been uh, fetched so that will be created now now you can go to the dashboard and then you can view the project and then let's say we want to create MCP to interact with our docker images let's just search for APIs which are related to images You can see this, this, this. There are a few APIs which are used to interact with MCPs for images. We'll select all those. And then we'll click on create individual tools. We'll give a basic description telling it to create a tool. We don't need anything special over here. And then we'll give our API key for an Anthropic. So you could see we have created uh, 12 out of 13 tools. So one of the tool might be a duplicate API or something. So you can click on tools and you can view. You can see uh, we have Docker image lister, image search, image exporter, image pruner, image puller, image loader, etc, etc. Now what you have to do is you can click on download Python MCP server. And then you can unzip it and open it in VS Code. If you see, you will have an MCP config.json over here. So this API key is optional. All the tools which you have created would be downloaded here automatically. And we are using our SDK to execute these tools. You could see that we are using our SDK to execute our tools. You can go through the code if you want, but it's not needed. But if you want to fetch uh, the tools uh, using our API key, just mind that there will be rate limits. I would uh, recommend you to use the local mode itself. So we can remove the API key over here and then for Cloud, we need it to be in the STDIO mode itself. So what we can do is, we can, you need to enable the developer mode. Once you enable that, we can go to C, users, app data, okay, roaming Cloud. And then over here, you can see the desktop config. You can click on edit this, uh, open with VS Code. And then we have an example config uh, within our zip itself. You can copy paste this in the actual uh, config and then give your uh, actual uh, MCP path, the downloaded path over here. And then you can change the server name as well. Once you are done, you can just open Cloud. If some error occurs, it will show you if if everything works good, which it should. You will be able to see this. 11 MCP tools has been initialized. You can see that uh, 
install mcp server our anthropic server will be over here so let me say can you please list the docker images i have it will ask us will allow for this chat and you can see the tool call over here and it has fetched so this is one of the custom image which i had i have one more image without a tag i have a new ubuntu image as well so in this way you can create custom mcp servers for for your own api servers or for third party uh, applications as well within minutes thank you